let's imagine one fine sunday morning somewhere in the month of july where then it is the season of plantation we wake up motivated that let's go and plant a tree we would either go to a nursery or maybe may join a plantation group that is going to keep us motivated but and we are going to go there plant a tree come back do we ever go back to water that sapling the answer is absolutely no the actual site survey says that less than 40% of the plants only survive after 2 to 3 years of plantation i am sure this is not our motive or intention behind planting our intention is the sapling that we plant essentially has to convert into a tree that is what we think the actual problem is not how and where to plant trees the actual concern is not at all planting trees it is about its survival if we plant a tree can we ensure its survival namaste i am gaurav tauri we run an organization where we do projects of landscape development tree plantation and making public and private gardens so basically when we talk about tree plantation what comes the first thing that we come that comes to our mind is i mean how we can guarantee its transformation we the citizens of india and world at large are currently facing the consequences of global warming that is mainly air pollution disrupted ecosystem and climate change like they say one has to clean his own dirt all these problems have been created just due to the advent of human aspiration hence the problem that we have created it's our prime duty to solve it so these kind of problems need a meticulously researched man made solution planting trees with an intention to conserve environment is just a pie of the entire cake just planting trees is not the solution its transformation into big trees has to be the thing there are factors which hinder the transformational journey of a sapling into a tree there are factors which resist the growth we term them as missing links these missing links are basically the factors hindering the growth of a sapling into a tree we have identified a few to name them the main thing that is, that is responsible is inadequate watering retarded production arrangement protection to a plants in its infancy is very much important less or more water both can be dangerous complicating growth and ground ecosystem when we plant a sapling it is important for us to ensure that it is getting a nature like ecosystem in its infancy so that it gets a environment of motivation where it can grow when we are committing to plant a sapling we are not just committing to planting we are in fact committing to its nurturing it's just like raising a baby another things which we talk about another things that hinder the growth are space constraints apprehensive mindset we need to have a positive approach and there are problems related to social behavior that is not finding the right match having said our company or our organization is active in taking up tree plantation projects we were allotted a work of planting 10000 saplings with an intention obviously to get them converted into trees in a newly developed town along the lengths and breadths that is the roadside areas of those uh, we were given a stringent list of how to plant trees which trees Need to, which plants need to be planted the protection arrangement and the watering schedule the condition was we would get get paid once we give a satisfactory result we followed everything meticulously but we failed miserably we failed but we didn't fall you know we came back with a innovative solution later so we identified the problems that were responsible that why we could not achieve the results those were in technical surprisingly those were social behavioral problems and that was lack of planning but we lost money uh, we concluded that let's come up with a innovative solution that is effective that is sustainable that is economical and most importantly pilferage free because in a country like india we have to take care of an innovation if it is not con- if it is if the characteristics and possibility of failures are not considered any innovation can go for a toss it makes no sense how much research you do unless you are giving the user the final thing that he is desiring of unlike metal tree guards we had to come up with something which has no scrap value so that if you want to steal that 
यू शुड नॉट बी एबल टू अप्रोच द स्क्रैप वेंडर एंड हैव इट इन योर माइंड कम ऑन इसको बेच देते हैं और कुछ ले लेते हैं दैट शुडेंट है सो बेसिकली दैट वॉज द स्टार्ट ऑफ आर लाइन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट कॉल रक्षक सेल्फ वॉटरिंग ट्री गार्ड वॉट इज रक्षक सेल्फ वॉटरिंग ट्री गार्ड बेसिकली रक्षक सेल्फ वॉटरिंग ट्री गार्ड इज बेस्ड ऑन द आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ क्रिएटिंग सक्सेसफुल स्टैंड अलोन प्लांटेशन इन अनप्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज सच एज रोड साइड प्लांटेशन सच एज प्लांटेशन इन द ओपन एरियाज दैट आर इन अर्बन दैट आर इन अर्बन हैबिटैट्स एंड एरियाज विच आर नॉट इवन कंसिडर्ड फॉर अ प्लांटेशन लाइक यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर देयर इट हैज अ इन बिल्ड वॉटर स्टोरेज कपैसिटी ऑफ फिफ्टीन टू सेवेंटीन लीटर्स विथ अ डीप रूड इरीगेशन मैकेनिज्म द वॉटर इज बींग हेल्ड देयर बाय द मीन्स ऑफ अ कैप विच इज मेड आउट ऑफ रबर it is expandable it expands with the growth of the stem of the tree so that we also have to take care that that the stem that the device must be in a position that there should be no gradual formation in the stem of the tree so that water has to go deep into the ground that works on the principle of subsurface irrigation with the use of capillary wicks we call it deep root hydration now i'd like to explain the important features of rakshak that how it functions we have to pour water from the top this is how water is being stored and gradually percolated under the earth you cannot see watering there it is like a metaphor to the intravenous method adopted by doctors to directly infuse medicine in your blood so that you react faster to the medicines here we want the plant to grow faster and in less water this technology saves enormous quantity of water we have researched it saves around 70% of water compared to the normal watering conventional techniques that we used to plant a tree after in in the post plantation care phase another thing is don't you think it becomes very easy for us when we just have to dissolve a fertilizer and simply put it so that it again goes to the root zone why are we wasting so much water in unnecessarily wetting this much area which is soil ironically water crisis is something we are facing it at the same time when we are facing environmental crisis and climate change issues so it's important for us to save water as well most importantly in a country like india or any developing country or even developed countries tier 2 and tier 3 cities there is presence of cattle throughout the habitats and it should be we don't deny i mean there is nothing called mismanagement if cattle is there on the road because the world belongs to them as well so we have to take care that those cattle don't attack the saplings planted by us so this tree guard takes care of that as well now you can see the working of rakshak self watering tree guard we had identified a problem that plants are damaged due to the attack of cattle hence this solution another problem was the water did not go to the root zone lot of water was evaporated so had so we had to ensure to save water by evaporation hence here water directly goes to the root zone controls evaporation we wanted faster growth of a sapling it is being done here another problem was spillage i know I, as i told you that we had solved it by means of using a material which has no economic value but has a lot of value when it comes to plantation when we had completed the testing phase of rakshak self watering tree guard it was our time that we wanted to approach a few potential buyers we went surprisingly we were reprimanded we were shattered that you know boss you are trying to solve a problem which doesn't which we don't even categorize as a problem so it was difficult for us to tell people that boss it's a problem so no one was able to listen to us uh, incidentally we happened to meet a stalwart in this industry that is for that is the minister of road and highways when we met him we told him sir this is a problem with his deep generosity he was convinced ha bhai takleef to hai bata tu kya kar sakta hai i offered him a solution he was you know he was a little convinced we requested him for a pilot project we got that after the after the success of pilot project uh, it was examined due diligence procedure was followed by the government and they went ahead with that not to exaggerate but we had 98% survival rate in the pilot project with and we followed normal practices we were happy to see that people were happy we got word of mouth publicity we approached uh, local bodies and other bodies who could give us some opportunity to plant trees and we planted about 200 200000 saplings till now so this is a transformation of a roadside uh, plantation project that we did in presence of cattle you can see how it is and after the transformation of a road into a lush green corridor you can see how it looks so i think uh, 
it's a very promising thing these days that we should ensure that you know the commute passages that we have must be greenified completely that will be helpful for us and it will get us get into a secured you know environment for us to go around so what are the product advantages that we had it's a bio compatible material absolutely bio compatible uh, with a low cost thing the cost that goes in to save a pa- to you know to save a sapling is way too less than the value that a tree offers it's it has a th- it has been built on the ideology of theft free approach no prerequisite water or land sources available we don't need a borewell where we have to plant a tree we intervene right from the right from the process when the plantation species has to be selected we assume that a right species should be planted at the right time it must be planted with a native nature so that we have a native forest in times to come another thing was was ped to laga diya hum to pani dene bhi nahi jate kya hum tree guard ukhadne ke liye jayenge absolutely no so we had to have we had we had to had something in that which is in auto destruction thing so this this goes brittle with time in presence of sun it breaks and it can be easily collected when a collection drive is being taken so we think that any invention that is in existence or any technology that we are coming up with is for the if that is for the benefit of nature it must be accessible and implementable and we thought that let's give it a monetary approach we followed our own principle of 3e that is ecology employment and economy imagine there is a lush green corridor on the road that you are passing and you have fruits hanging around that wouldn't it be soothing soothing and calming for you to pass through that will this also encourage the youth to depend on a plant based economy because they can think of harvesting the material that we can use out of that forest thing in this world when we are completely you know mind boggled and stressed out the, there's just one passage through which we pass through every day that's the office to the road or office to the super i mean the road to the supermarket anything that can be so green corridor provided provides us numerous benefits apart from the environmental they have a lot of benefits for your health and for your emotional well being as well so that's very important that's another objective that we have to achieve by the easier way of plantation our audit i mean we had to do a audit because we had to get gain confidence among us that what we have done is right or wrong so we need to self certify ourselves so we had a audit our audit discovered that 85% of the 200000 saplings that we have planted are alive and we guarantee that they would get converted into big trees for us in future so that's quite an achievement we feel as you can see here you know we talked about how plantations die in its initial phase but by this innovation and by this approach we got something which is new this approach of better post plantation care with a simplified manner will help us in securing a greener future for us and of course for generations to come we believe that environment is not something that we inherit from our ancestors in fact instead it is something that we borrow from our next generation thank you